to give it, let me point out some refinements, guys. One, one, because we're using hammer, it's not as obvious, I mean, the ice pick, it's not as obvious. Go into hammer grip. If I do this, that seems obvious, it seems straightforward, but that's a, potentially a suicide cut. Same with the number two. If I do this, that's potentially a suicide cut. So that's why we go with the back of the, of the arm. So that if the person retracts, it's a cut, but it's not deadly, it's not, you're not gonna bleed out. It just hurts. Uh, give me a number two. So when you get here, I don't want to lift my elbows and reach, especially if she's using hammer grip, because she's, if she's determined, she's gonna vivisect me right there. I need a barrier. The barrier is my elbow. So if she's really trying to get at me, this is the thing. Now just push that away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself out. I'm keeping a barrier here. I'm going into the beginning of Silum Tau. So I can lock this up. Okay. So there is a reason for using the back side over the front side. There is a reason for, we have an elbow and you maintain that elbow in Wing Chun. And there's a reason to maintain that elbow with a